Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this weekend, Dateline Schools are visiting the Marysville School District and learning about the third annual Ed Camp Blue Water that's coming up on Saturday, November 1st, and tell us all about it. My special guest is Marysville School's educational technology specialist and one of the organizers of the Ed Camp, Kit Hard. And, and, and Kit, do you have an ultimate goal uh, for this Ed Camp that's coming up on November 1st? Sure. I, I think we talk a lot about differentiated instruction and personalized instruction for students. So a big part of this PD model is to help create a differentiated and personalized model of professional development for teachers. And we'd like to see this model trickle down into the local schools as a model that uh, a building could use to help their teachers um, learn about something new in a way that is self-directed. And also you hear examples in classrooms of teachers using this EdCamp model as a way of helping students to dive deeper into projects and then using um, that sort of self-organizing structure to create a really dynamic way for teaching and learning in a classroom. Do you see where this is kind of catching on, not only here in the Blue Water area, but throughout the state? Yeah, you, you've got ed camps going on all over the state um, throughout the year. and. You hear about schools individually choosing to use that EdCamp model for PD on a PD day, and then you do hear of teachers who are employing that into their classrooms. Any idea how many teachers are, are coming for this event this year? So we're a little less than a month out, and we're pushing 50 for our enrollment, and we have room for up to 100, so we're looking to have uh, a number of new people register between now and then. How are you going to know if this thing's a success this year? I think that the biggest measure of success is the smiles on the faces as people are leaving. It's something that you don't always see after professional development, and you definitely see that after an ed camp. But also hearing that a principal maybe has decided to do that within their building, run a kind of ed camp PD, or that a teacher is using some of what they've learned in the classroom. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.